You have to go all the way back to the days of the White Australia policy to find a Minister for Immigration referring to communities that should be excluded based on race or religion. You have to go that far back. There is no way of reconciling the words of the Minister for Immigration with the words of this motion. And I wish there was. I want this resolution, which is about who we are as a country, to be something that both sides of politics can unanimously agree on. And when the Leader of the Opposition put this motion forward and said it's time to move it again, it was not intended to be a wedge through the government. It was not intended to be a point of division. It was intended to be a statement of unity. And I cannot for the life of me see how that second paragraph of this resolution can in any way be reconciled with the views that the Minister for Immigration has now put forward. I have no doubt that the comments from the Minister for Immigration will win him votes. I don't care. There has to be a time when we are willing to provide a level of leadership to bring a country together. I expect the comments from the Minister for Immigration will not result in any change of immigration policy. He'll hint at it, he'll tempt at it, but I suspect the, the policy will not in fact change. I suspect it also will not add a single job to Australia or a dollar to our GDP. But I know some things that it will do. It will make the work of our security agencies harder. It will cause people to feel marginalised when we want them to feel 100 per cent part of our community. It will cause some people, a small minority, to have a sense of licence and permission to belittle and abuse some of their fellow citizens, and that has already commenced. There are two sorts of Australian stories. An Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander story that goes all the way back to the first sunrise and a story of immigration. And every Australian either has one or both of those stories. Modern Australia is about bringing those 24 million stories together. That's what it is. And part of the role of the Minister for Immigration is making sure that we are as cohesive as possible in making sure that people who might feel marginalised in fact feel every word that is in our citizenship oath.